Hey everybody, it's me Mara. It is a beautiful day out here on Keel Farms. I've spent about the past hour picking some lovely blueberries. Go ahead and take a look at that. I don't know if you can see them. I'm gonna bring them here to the light. It has been so much fun getting to pick these blueberries and I am just having a great time. I also wanna say that um, it's a lot of blueberries. Look at that field. <laughs> This goes on, I don't know how many acres this is. This is probably at least 50, maybe more. I'm gonna go to the website to verify. But um, it's been a workout so far. I mean, I probably have maybe like a pound and a half of blueberries, but um, it's been sweaty. I've had a couple mosquitoes um, snip at me and I've almost been attacked by a couple uh, bumblebees. But you know what got me thinking? I think that as much fun as this is to be here for maybe 10 hours a day or 12 hours or even seven hours maybe five six or seven days out of the week either in this type of blueberry field or any type of agricultural field for all these amounts of hours is insane imagine the back-breaking labor that is just to pick the food that we eat every day and folks i just want to let you know that that's a reality for millions of farm workers and migrant workers across specifically across the United States and of course other parts of the world um, so I do want to say and first acknowledge that I am very privileged to have this luxury to carve out some of my day to spend about an hour or so gingerly picking blueberries but not everyone has this luxury just to go around and avoid bees and pick one or two blueberries and take cute pictures like I'm doing. And yes, I'm having fun, but I wanna also let you know and just remember that there are folks that have no choice, but they have to go into all of these bushes and bushels in farms across the country. They have to go across tons of bushels, risk getting bitten by ants, stung by wasps or bees or mosquitoes in order to pick the produce that you have on your plate. So. I just want to take this moment to not just thank the farmers who are out there. First of all, thank you for just making sure that we have a steady food supply um, for all of us. But I also want to thank farm workers and migrant workers because really, folks, without you guys out there in the fields, a lot of us wouldn't. A lot of us wouldn't have food on our plates. I definitely think that um, agriculture is an essential type of work, especially um, farm labor, especially when it comes to um, farm work and migrant work um it's i think these are some of the unsung heroes we have so you know next time you're saying grace on your with your family during dinner don't forget to thank those who broke their backs to pick the strawberries blueberries lettuce and other fruits and veggies that are on your plates because their work is not unnoticed so folks i want to thank you if you are within that kind of sector or industry and you're watching this i want to thank you for your hard work seriously because i think that this is tough but imagine having to multiply this by a hundred that's crazy but i appreciate and admire the hard work that you are doing to keep foods on our plates and on our tables every single day day in day out rain shine holidays weekends you name it thank you thank you thank you anyway folks um have a great day bye